to Sebastian Robertson with our sister station in Seattle, who traveled over here to Spokane just to help with our continuing coverage. Sebastian. Hello. Yeah, the Gray Fire continues to bring devastation to the area. To date, it has killed one person, destroyed 185 homes. And as you alluded to, that is a conservative estimate only expected to grow. And we talked to so many people outside of the fire lines forced to evacuate that can do nothing but wait and see. Eastern Washington is blanketed by smoke. Just hoping that the trailer's still there when we get, you know, back. Sun blocked by haze as hundreds of fire crews work to knock down the area's largest wildfire. Yeah, when we seen the truck and the flames, we're, we pretty much thought it was, we were going to lose everything. Leanne Edgington shot this video on her phone. Oh my God, look at the flames on that house right there. She and her longtime partner Ryan made it out alive, outran the grave fire, and they thought they were in the clear. Yeah, but not safe from the criminals in Spokane, I guess. This morning, they woke up to broken glass. A bad situation just got worse in the parking lot of a Spokane hotel. I woke up at 6 o'clock in the morning to come down and get a charger for my phone. And yeah. seen, as I'm walking up, I seen glass from underneath the truck. And I knew that the truck got broken too. Then when we got closer, we realized everything was gone. The good news is that their home is still standing. 185 others are not. Officials expect that number to rise. The Gray Fire sparked Friday, burned hot and fast, tearing through more than 10,000 acres. Over the weekend, Governor Inslee visited survivors, promising more help is on the way. But well, we've got to understand we're up against a monster here that we've never felt before, and that's climate change. Back on the fire line, and crews are taking advantage of slightly lower temperatures and calmer conditions to solidify fire lines. Washdot crews clearing trees at risk of falling. Today, just 10% of the fire is contained, and the fire danger is still extreme. For Ryan and Leanne, that means they'll have to keep waiting, and oftentimes that's the hardest part, something they wish the people who broke into their truck could understand. Did it ever cross your guys' mind that, you know, other people other than you are going through something too? Did it ever cross your guys' mind that, you know, other people other than you are going through something Weapon in the fight against this fire may be Mother Nature. You can see that the sun has gone away. Overcast skies are here. There is a chance for rain early this evening. And while it's not expected to wet the ground, it could be a pivotal part in stopping the spread of this fire and allowing crews some valuable time to catch up. In Cheney, Sebastian Robertson, Crem2 News.